let's continue the factory. There's still a bunch of things I have just strewn around in the car. I guess this low capacity heat pipe might... Yeah, I might just throw that somewhere near here. Get there. Maybe I will not keep any heat pipes on me at the moment. Also, why do I have burner mining drills? I might just throw them into a random chest over there. Burner mining drill. Let's see if there's anything else. Maybe wooden chests. Steel ingot will arrive at the steel mechanical part factory. And copper plates might just go in here. Okay. What else could I do to make more copper, for instance? Didn't I try to improve that? Is the drill fluid produced enough? Not quite. There are still issues with the lubricant. Too much light oil, I would say. Yes. Light oil is a problem. Maybe I don't use enough petroleum gas for some reason. Should actually not do this to residual oil. Let's see what I can do with light oil. Just cracking it to petroleum gas. There are two different plastic recipes. One is using benzol. How do I make this? Coal gas. Okay, I need coal gas, but I don't know if I want to deal with that. So one solution might be doing some more petroleum gas to, uh, to solid fuel transformation. Where is this going in? Okay. I might have to do this at a at an earlier stage when this is lower. I think this pipe isn't going anywhere and this might lead to problems. I think it would be good to connect this system with that system if it isn't already connected, but I don't really see an obvious connection. It would be nice now to have the pipe visualizer mod, but I don't really want to install it just now. Yeah, I think these um, pipes are connected through here. Yeah, I guess I just need to decrease the limit from when on this will be used. So let's uh, find the car and drive all the way over to the left. At least I do have pumps on me now, even though I don't really know whether I need a pump just now. I guess I could just try to work with the pumps that I have or... Yeah, let's just see. I guess I just need to decrease the limit in the pump. 
this pump. I will set this to 14,000. And then add another one of these things. I might even still use productivity modules. And maybe instead of using this kind of fuel, I might just use the solid fuel. Let's say I will use a uh, red cable, read belt contents, hold, and then only if on the hold part it is more than seven. So this means if the belt is basically full, or shall I say more than four. Now I need to set a solid fuel there. Don't want to type it in and find it. So if it's more than four, which it sometimes is, in that case it should put or continue this solid fuel belt basically. And then I will use a balancer to get this in here. Input priority left. So from now on the solid fuel will be used rather than this coke. Whole coke pellets. Not sure about the fuel values. 12 compared to 18. But I guess this uh, is something I want to get rid of so it's fine to do it like this. Okay, uh, let's look at the lubricant production. This is at 300 again. And the drill fluid is at 1.2 again. Let's look at the copper mining. I might just try to make another of these deep drills. Let's see whether I can find deep drills. There are two different versions, two different mining speeds. So I'm making deep drills and I don't have one on me right now, so I might have to go all the way back and all the way to this place again here. I might just visit the copper drill and see how fast it actually needs to be. Or whether it's, yeah, I think the copper here never really reaches the, the last purifiers. Can't use productivity in there. For some reason this doesn't work. No mineable resources. Apparently these get empty at some point. And this is already at 4.3k. So I shall just use this deep drill then. It's not too difficult to just move this around. And I guess then both of these or four, all four of these purifiers will have some stuff to work with. But I still could harness this uh, copper patch. Let's look at, well, I guess these lead chunks are sort of too far away or not in the radar coverage. So I will have to do something about that. Maybe even now I should just do that instead of complaining and not knowing what to do. And I wonder whether eventually I need to put defenses up on the left side, but for now it's fine. The pollution is very far away from any kind of enemies. So what I will do is still build these big electric poles.
cool how stretched I can drive. Let's build this. And then I will go even further to the left with some of those uh, big electric poles. To the left and up. Okay, another radar. I can use productivity on them. I should do that on all of the ones that I have. So now I have done the cannon thingy. Let's see what this needs. Processing unit, I think that will be still a little bit away. Shall I try to work on the productivity module too? I think that would be cool. What's the pollution of these? 21. I wonder how much I could reduce this with an efficiency module. Sometimes I rather like the autosave to be a bit longer than too short. Then it, uh, if it's too short, it feels more like a glitch. If it's uh, longer, I can prepare that it's currently doing an autosave. Okay, the mining speed is reduced by 5%. And I get 13% productivity. I guess some of this is from research. Where is it? The mining productivity plus 10. I guess this module just does 3% productivity. Want to look at the pollution graph in a moment. Pollution from burner mining drills has come down in the last 10 minutes. Possibly because I'm using more deep drills. And the deep drills need to drill fluid. Kills. I have done some kills in the last 10 hours. That's a tree. I guess I killed some different trees. And only a few biters about one and a half hours ago in the game. Okay, let's go to some other place. I guess I might be able to... Well, I want to know if I can use arc furnaces and gold uh, smelting this way. I might use productivity in here, but I might as well use these pure golds to make molten gold. I could also do gold extraction. I'm not sure what I'm doing at the moment. Okay, I'm already doing the gold uh, purification. Apparently this doesn't do any uh, pollution. So efficiency would only reduce the energy requirement. For now, I will just do 
productivity in some of these furnaces. But I might just use... an arc furnace to produce molten gold. And then... Where can I do the casting? Doesn't this show the casting? Gold ingot? Okay, one of these. Yeah, I can use the caster. Maybe this, um, this menu just doesn't show the casting process at all for anything. Do I still have casters? Yes. Okay, I first need to smelt this. I didn't think about that. I will just do this here. I don't know if this might interfere with some other part of the bus. I guess this is just mining and smelting and also copper plates, but yeah, there's also some smelting going on here. This is just producing more iron ore. Let's move this out of the way. For now it will just be to the left, and then Arc Furnace. This will make Molten Gold. And I guess I might just place the Pastors right next to this. And then I will have the inserters going into that belt. Sadly, this doesn't properly connect. Now it does. Okay, how about I balance this? And then I will just send it in there. And this will basically always have priority over the other process. So this smelting doesn't happen anymore. That way I might just remove all of this now. And I guess this is not yet covered by RoboPorts, so I will just do this manually. There's a bunch of pure gold that I can still insert. I hope this is more efficient on the whole for producing the same amount of gold.
I'll just do it like this. Because there's the power pole already. Okay, I guess that's the gold taken care of for a while. And I might still want to upgrade the copper by using one more lead drill. I really think the pollution might also spread in this area now. Eventually I want to try using efficiency modules, at least on drills. Not sure what else there was to do. Might just try to work on doing the circular bus or technology progression or both at the same time. Also, we do have a bunch of uh, bots now and this is all covered by RoboPods. So how about I remove all of this basically the second line that was a little less dense and less protective this might take a while for the bots to unbuild or deconstruct Let's see the power system. Might still be working properly. But also I'm not doing any research right now. I don't know if I should. There's a rocket control unit in this game. Remember that one. Can't I make beacons at the moment, I guess? I would need to research that. Somehow that would be nice, actually. I can put efficiency modules in beacons, hopefully, and that way reduce the pollution and power requirement of certain machines and increase the speed if I want to. Might also research these modules. Not really sure about the lithium battery production, why that would be necessary. Lithium crystal, sand, dirty water, and liquid oxygen. Good to know that this is a thing. I might just do that. Um, what is this actually? This is just a different recipe for batteries. I think I'm producing batteries already. This is just another way to do this. Accumulator. So there are a bunch of uh, belts coming towards me. Yes, I'll just wait this second and then I will continue. So one thing I would like to do is certainly at some point do the nuclear stuff. I might be able to do this uh, process. I do have centrifuges. Let's see. Maybe I can't actually do another enrichment process yet. Probably not called Coverex.
as thorium recycling and uranium-233 recycling. I want to check whether there's a way to make more of the light green stuff, which is uranium-235. I hate that there are all of these text plates that basically block the search. Okay, I need one and nine lead plate ceramic. I have this fuel rod. And this is probably used in some kind of nuclear reactor. This efficiency module looks rather yellow. The good thing is I might just uh, produce the efficiency module above the productivity module for now. So this basically uses these module cores and then the energy crystal. Just want to make this go out of the way. And then I want to store some of these modules in chests. I will limit this with the logistic system. Efficiency level one. Yes, there are six tiers of modules. Energy consumption minus 100. I don't know if this is realistic or if it will be limited anyway. And now I want to look at the speed module, liquid nitrogen. Do I have nitrogen anywhere yet? Air filter. Okay, I do have that. And it is being used to make ammonia. I wonder if I should just liquefy it around here or do that separately, maybe after. Getting the bus up. I might even just try doing some combat. Let's look at the power. Seems to be good enough, at least during the daytime. I'm just collecting some stuff off these belts just so that the robots have to do less. And also then I have some turret fodder. Might just protect this corner a bit more. Okay. Let's save the game. Do have some or a hot bar specifically for combat. I 
I guess uh, the equal distribution mod would be helpful in these cases. But I don't have that one. Anyway, let's also build some laser turrets. And I will just save again. Because I just did something. Could you please leave me in peace? I hope there's no friendly fire. I guess this isn't too difficult, but now this power pole was destroyed, apparently. Wonder what the evolution factor is. Might just reduce some of these bases. Only have 14... Um, Turrets left, laser turrets. And I don't have any repair packs. I think that's not the best idea. Not the best idea ever. This is a laser turret, not a tree. I wonder how many laser turrets died. Maybe just one. I could look at kills. Yeah, just one laser turret and one medium electric pole. I will save again because this was a success. However small the success was. I don't have enough power poles to spam them. Maybe I need to fetch some and just uh, do this in a moment, rather than just now. And maybe I need less right here. I guess... Uh, Defeating these nests will definitely increase the evolution, which might be a problem in the future. But also having these uh, fighters be further away is quite helpful. So now that I'm here, I see iron mechanical parts. I wonder where the other mechanical parts are. Maybe I need to go to the turret production, I think. There might be some mechanical parts of many sorts. And then I might just be able to produce. Um, repair packs. Oh yes, right there, for instance. I will just build repair packs. They will go into a logistic chest. And I actually just wanted to get power poles over there. I might still place some logistic chests.
So now some robots can repair stuff. For instance, this power pole, I guess they will do that at some point. What else is there to do? I guess I don't really have enough of those construction bots in the system. Maybe I will just fetch some more if I find a way through here. They should be on the lower end of the bus. It's always a fun moment when you first have robots. But I guess I already had them for a while. This is lacking these uh, flying robot frames. And why is that? This is producing stuff again. I guess the lacking part might have been lubricant for a while. The energy crystals are also quite low. Want to look at that production line. This needs, I think, liquid sulfur or whatever that is called, acidic water. Looks a bit like liquid sulfur or something like that. I also wanted to get more of these drills. Maybe not to use them right now, but eventually when I go past them again, then I also wanted to take a look at coke furnaces. I guess I can't really use them for much, so I will just stick them in one of these old chests. Chests for old stuff. Um, now I uh, need to remember what I wanted to do with this. Okay, maybe I will just leave them here and the robots in the meantime will do some repairs. Or, yeah, I do have enough laser turrets to just leave these here. This flashing warning sign is not good, but anyway, I will just go do a little bit more combat. and then move the bus up later. I guess there are some turrets as well. This is quite old. And let's just use a big electric pole to get some distance. And another save game. And then Correct hotbar, hopefully. Would be nice to be able to force the power poles to have the distance that I can place all of them next to each other without a gap. Oops. 
Let me just stand here for a moment. Don't think I have a fish on me. But now the regeneration sets in. Let's all relax a bit. Just want to see at the energy demand. Quite high. So now I need to harvest some laser turrets. I think now the laser turrets can't really reach the worm that's attacking them. Bigger crabs. Please stop attacking me. Good. I guess that was done successfully. Another research being done, I guess. Cooled beacon. So now I could use beacons if I were able to produce them. We'll repair those. Luckily I don't have any to be repaired laser turrets in my inventory now. So what I could do now is just expand this system further north rather than moving it to the left there. But I will eventually have to break here, break off to the left. And then I might go a bit further because of that forest area, this forest tail end and this uh, little not so dense forest. This all takes a while until I have proper power armor. Sadly, sometimes removing the machine is more difficult than removing the tree. Should first remove the inserter there. Okay, now I do have a blueprint. I think it's this one. And this will certainly remove some trees. Which I might just do. I just go and build parts of this already. Yeah, 
Maybe I could also go around and destroy the other part to the left that I already built. And it seems like I might be able to put some of these drills in here to get these copper patches. I'll just remove these defenses and the lines, or the inserters and the lines. Could also thin out the turrets. I don't expect to be attacked anytime soon from up here. Luckily I already covered off these flanks. So let's just remove those turrets. I will keep the roboport and the radar there just because uh, that will help. Well, it will not help with that production. Let's just do this then to help with that production actually or with that placement. Sadly, I can't deconstruct and drive at the same time, like the player will halt when I wait for the next object to be deconstructed. Now these robots are sort of in the way of my deconstruction efforts. I guess I collected one of them maybe. I don't actually want to remove the tree, I want to remove the belt below. Maybe I will let bots do that. Same. Okay. There are no laser turrets in this uh, blueprint yet. I guess I will copy that then. And a radar being placed up there. That should be fine. Guess this is one of these alien plants, maybe? Or alien beacons, some kind of structure. I wonder if they are always hidden behind some kind of, or next to some kind of big alien thing. Maybe this was where I tried to deconstruct something at some point. And then I had to run away. Uranium chunks. I think, yeah, there is one uranium chunk that I'm mining. And I did realize that I need to probably build some kind of nuclear power plant reactor thing. So 
There's nuclear waste storage. And there is nuclear reactor. I think I should be able to do this. Maybe I need fission knowledge. Uranium test fuel. Okay, luckily this is just uh, the cheaper uranium. So I need to think about where I would like the secondary bus to go. Possibly I will go up, up to this point maybe, and then go to the left, or maybe even earlier. Like there, over this coal patch. I guess people don't like to build over ore patches, but that sometimes can't really be avoided if you don't want to go left and right and around all the time. So I wonder where those laser turrets want to go. Are they to be placed very high up? Probably. Hopefully nothing wants to go to me because I will not stay in Robopod range. So one thing that I want to do now is um, bring uranium stuff up. I might do this here. Okay, I will just use a balancer or a splitter. To the left will be 238. What I could do is just have another storage where it's already sorted. Okay, apparently um, there's even too much of that uranium stuff at the moment, so I actually need to build a bigger storage for that. And probably for the other stuff, I don't need that much. Don't even need fast inserters. I wonder how good these big inserters are. I want to try them out also. Where did I leave the car? Down there. Luckily now I don't really have any robot uh, requests anymore. No robot uh, to-dos, basically. The repairs have all been done. Basically wanted to get some of these very big inserters. Filtering high capacity crane. They are filtering. Oh. What's up with the normal high-capacity crane? Shouldn't they be produced somewhere? Or did something change? Where did I make those? 
potentially I made those here. Or I just changed the recipe afterwards and did that manually. I guess I will set this back. One hundred fifty one stack size. And I do have now six of them. I guess it's always good to have filtering anyway, especially on trains. Don't want to hit everything. And I wanted to get some of the blue inserters. I guess that was the reason why I was looking at new inserters. Because I forgot to have some other ones at me. Also red underground belts. And a few splitters, I would say. Just want to see whether I could do some uranium sorting with the uh, big inserters. Let's just see what happens if I do something like this. I guess it doesn't grab at the right position. So now this filter. So this will take a while basically. Let me try something. Can I flip that? I don't I think I can. They're always a bit weird. this correct? I think it is. So 100 at a time. It's also quite nice. Just wanted to try things out so this is not serious but good to have this I guess. Oops I'm full of stuff need to lose some ammo and fuel probably. All of this probably doesn't need to be there anymore. I think I'm filtering this there. There's only ammo going through. And now I would do this and send it back onto the belt. Basically this is done. Okay. Now the idea is to put all of this on one belt. And then I will maybe start using or moving the bus to one side. I think the uranium will be the last of this set. But I'm not sure what the first is. There's the flying robot frames. Not sure if there's anything else on that bus lane. Also, maybe this shouldn't go that way. Let's see if flying robot frames are used anywhere else. Advanced robot engine. I guess this is for bigger robots, but I can't really imagine that I want to have these flying robot frames staying on the bus. I think um, 
now is also a time to reconsider what uh, which of these bus items will stay on the bus. I will do some research on how many and how many recipes these things are still used and if I don't really need them anymore they will not go into the upper section of the bus. This will just go down and now I have another free area there. For instance, there is this crushed uranium, and I think it's not really used in anything else. Therefore, I wouldn't really put it on the bus. And then there is crushed purified uranium. This is only used in the uranium hexafluoride. And I don't think any of these things use productivity. I probably already checked that a bunch of times, but I always forget and I always want to check that again. And the arithmetic combinator is only used in the simulation computer age technology pack. Could also shorten it to scat pack. So the second line of this bus area might also not be needed anymore. This is uranium chunks. They are used in only one recipe and I guess they are also produced by a few things, but I think this will be further into the future. So for now there's only this lane. I guess this is just lead, or so I am led to believe. Yeah, lead is probably going into the centrifuges. Lead plate, yes. I will again throw a bunch of stuff away that I have too much in my inventory. And at some point I should also find a place to deliver all these things. Okay, um, these robot brains. I guess I will just put a chest there. Electric engine unit, I could just keep them. Did leave the car up there. So now is the great reconsideration. I wonder whether this is just steel mix. No, not sure what it's called. Steel blend. If this really is steel blend, then I wonder why past me get this thing and put this on. No, this is crushed iron. Crushed iron is needed in four different things. I guess this is fine to do that. 
I wonder where exactly I produced sulfuric acid. There are batteries. Did I even produce sulfuric acid yet? That is in the... Well, in the oil area, basically. They often tend to reserve a full separate area for things like that. Luckily, the lubricant is now full enough again. And also sometimes the ore smelting is in a separate area. As it would probably be too much for the bus. Okay, I will continue now with placing some or continuing some bus stuff. Where is coal used? Not sure whether I need grenades or explosives. Maybe if I want to do certain of these technologies, I guess. Okay, coal and iron, crushed iron stuff. I guess this is also coke related stuff. Coke. Coal coke and crushed coal coke, I would assume don't really need that to be continuously on the bus. Or maybe I will just continue it anyway. Because of a few use cases. This will just cost a bunch of belts to carry this further. And I hope I'm producing enough of those. 